And that's a pretty inspiring shot just there, hitting this par 5 green in two definite eagle possibilities. Ooh, inches, inches away. This one's about three feet from the cup. And after that one, two under for the day. And he's tied for second place on the leaderboard. And now setting up on this par three. Going with the eight iron. Unlucky on that approach shot. And that's too bad, but he has been doing uh, pretty good hitting those greens today so far. Looking like eight feet to the cup here. And that will be for Bogey. And that hole has led to uh, him falling down on the leaderboard here. And now teeing off on this par four. This one's questionable as to where it's going to end up. And nothing wrong with that shot. And this one's for birdie. This one's about 19 feet away. Oh, I thought that was gonna go. This looks like around a four footer, I'd say. Ooh. This putt is for the double bogey. And as we look at the leaderboard today, the, uh, the score to beat is currently a three under par. And moving on to the 15th here. Well, this one's looking like it's in the fairway. And from 135 away. And going with the nine iron. Now it's an unfortunate approach shot. Unfortunately, not enough club, I think. And about four feet from the cup. And finishing the hole with a solid putt. And plus one on the day after that hole. 
setting up on the 16th tee. And I think this one's going to find the fairway. From 130 yards. Going with the 9 iron here. Okay, and he's on the green now. And this putt is for birdie. Oh, and uh, just doesn't want to drill. And this one's for par. That one will drop. And one over for the day after that hole. And next up we have a par five hole. This one's looking pretty good so far. And pretty sure he's going to like that. And they're about three feet away here. And that one will go for birdie. And that one's going to bring him down to even par. And as he tees off here on the 18th hole, he is only two strokes off the lead. Let's see what happens. He's got to be pleased with that. And uh, 110 yards or so to the pin. I think you'll like that. This next putt for a final round score of 71. This one's about three feet away. This one is over for our player here today, and uh, they did pretty good. I, I was uh, a little worried at times, but uh, I think they, they got a favorable result nonetheless. Well, we know that was far below their best, John, but there are a few bright spots in that performance that I know that they'll take to the next tournament. Well, I'm sure you'll agree we saw some pretty good golf today. Thanks for tuning in.
Hello everyone, a great event to be playing in. It's the Champions Invitational. My name is Luke Elvey. Alongside me, as always, is John McCarthy. And we're excited to bring this day's action to you. And John, getting off to a good start is paramount. How do the players have to play this opening hole? Well, Luke, it's a beautiful course here at Faxon Park. And this first hole, par four, is no different. There's water to the left as the fairway gets cut in two. If you play up the right, I think most people will, uh, you can get a slightly better view of that green, which is flanked by bunkers to the right and left. Let's see how this one goes. Thanks, John. Conditions are ripe for scoring, so let's see if they can go low. And there you have it, folks. First drive of the event. Well, this one could be either way, folks. I'm not sure uh, if it's going to be safe or not. and about 190 yards to the pin. Going with the four iron here. And the forecast calling for a significant amount of sand here, folks. Unlucky on that approach shot. Just not enough club on that one. And that shot out of the bunker is putting Parr back on the table. And that putt will drop for Parr. And starting today's round off at even par. to uh, tee off on this par three. It looks like the uh, hybrid is on display here. And this one is on the green with a lengthy putt ahead. My goodness, that was some 